y'all. Welcome to the Charles Norman Show. Today I'm taping two shows, well, not by myself. To this first one is the one y'all gonna see today. And then later on tonight, me and my friends are gonna talk about the Super Bowl. So that's just gonna be one show in itself. And y'all see that tomorrow. Um, So that means really no sports on today's show. We do have hot topics since we haven't done hot topics in forever. Um, to end the show, as always, we'll have our inspiration. And, you know, we talked about having fun and being silly on Monday. So today I want to talk about what can we do to have fun. It's all about fun. Time to start the show. Here we go. Um, um, Alright, so like I said, no sports. We're starting right off with hot topics. Um, Bruce Jenner is getting his own docu-series. He said his ex-wife, Chris Jenner, has nothing to do with this series. He does not want her calling any shots. She will not be calling any shots. This is his journey. I'm going to talk about his journey in a minute, but he doesn't want this to, I guess you can say, he doesn't want the show to air until after like, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, his, uh, his family show, the finale of that show happens. And this series, it's rumored that he's about to go through a journey, and that journey is him turning into a woman. I mean, I don't know if it's true, but the, he has grown his hair out longer, has highlights in his hair. Um, he got his Adam's apple shaved down so it doesn't stick out. And he, there are a couple of things he, that he's done. Got lip injections to make his lips look bigger. Hey, if he is, if he wants to be a woman, that's that's his business. It's nobody else's business, but it's his journey, and that's what Kim Kardashian said. He's about to go on a journey, and if he wants to tell you guys about that, he will. Um, Marshawn Lynch. All right, first of all, I think everybody who's calling him an idiot or stupid because he won't talk to the media. I think you guys are actually stupid because. And you are judging his character just because he says the same thing over and over again in press conferences. That's because any time that somebody says something in the media, it always gets twisted and turned in a bad way. You don't feel comfortable with those people, and I don't blame them. And yeah, he does have to go out and talk on media that he has to go out and talk. They don't say he has to answer their questions. All he has to do is show up for 4 minutes and 30 seconds and say what he wants to say. So what if he says, I'm just here so I don't get fined, or you already know why I'm here. Um, no, nobody get mad at Andy Reid when Andy Reid say I got to do a better job after everything that somebody else says, or I take full responsibility for it. And nobody got mad at Bill Belichick when he said went on to Cincinnati thirty times, over thirty times when they lost to um Kansas City. My Sean Lynch even called out the um media today saying you always want to ask me questions, but making. This person, I want that person, I but y'all don't know him, and the only people that know him that really care about him, that he really cares about, is his family that he goes home to every day. So he don't really care about what you have to say, or you have to say, or anybody from the media has to say. Leave the man alone. He's one of the best, probably the best running back in the league, and he doesn't have to talk to anybody if he doesn't want to. Shut up. Move on. So many other players that actually want to talk. Go talk to them. All right, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao were at a Heat game, Miami Heat game earlier this week and they exchanged numbers so maybe they're going to talk about the fight them two possibly fighting each other hopefully everybody wants to see it I'm kind of over it but it is said that Floyd and Manny did meet up with each other in the hotel and one of their hotel rooms after the fight so I mean after the basketball game so maybe they may do something I don't know I don't really care anymore I thought y'all would like to hear that because I don't care about neither of them. All right, Disney's first, Disney unveiled their first Latina princess. Her name is Elena. She's going to be on a show called, um, I think, Nora First or Eleanor First or somebody first. Sophia First. And she's going to be like a little character on that show, but then she's going to get her own spinoff in 2016. So, we got a princess for every nationality I guess now um, the world's safest city so somebody I forgot who released a um, list of the top five 
safest cities in the world. So number five is Amsterdam. Number four is Stockholm. Number three is Osaka, Japan. Number two is Singapore. And number one is Tokyo. There was only one United States city in the top ten, and that was New York. I don't see how that's probably the safest city in the world because it's like, to me, it seems like it has such a title on its back, you know, from things that can happen there. But whatever. It's 2016 election. I got some election news. Just announced about five minutes ago, Mitt Romney said he will not run for president again. Thank God. Um, we're still waiting on Hillary Clinton to announce that she's going to run. I'm just going to have to call Hillary after this show and tell her to announce it because I need to break the news. Maybe I'll even call her. She's a good friend of mine. We'll do an interview with each other on the show, and she'll just let it out here. Um, Scandal came back last night. It was a crazy episode, I must say. Olivia got taken away and locked up, and she was in a dungeon. I mean, I'm spoiling it for those of you that see. In a dungeon with this guy who seemed to be crazy, but I said to my friend, who I always text during Scandal, we always text each other on Scandal, I said, I bet you he's breaking with the bad guys. And guess what? He was. But Olivia, she's going to get out. She's going to do what she got to do. All right. If you don't want to watch the Super Bowl, there's two other things that you can watch. You can watch Puppy Bowl 11. That's going to come on. And we'll play it not at the same time as the Super Bowl, but you can still just keep watching it during the Super Bowl. Or you can watch the Fish Bowl 2. And the Fish Bowl 2 is something crazy. They just put two fish in one bowl, and they put them in a barn, and you just watch them swim around for four hours. If you think the Super Bowl is boring, I think that might be more boring. But if you think the Super Bowl will be boring, just watch the Fish Bowl and the Puppy Bowl. We're not going to make you watch the Super Bowl. They'll get over 100 million viewers even without you. Thank you. Inspiration. Inspiration time. Um, we got inspiration from Jimmy Fallon. He said it's okay to be silly and have fun. Basically, that's what he said. And I chose this because, you know, every other, I think we did, this is show number 47. So we had about, up until now, I think 18 different inspiration segments and weekly assignments. And all of them had to be like serious, like know who you are doing this and doing that and that's why I just wanted to say you know let's just have fun forget all that other stuff that we talked about before just have fun what can we do to even have what can we even do to have fun I think first we have to relax just breathe forget all the serious stuff for the time that you're having fun don't think about having fun keep your mind concentrated on having fun don't worry about this deadline or that deadline or this being due, that being due, or this mean that meeting. Pray about you having fun. Concentrate on you being fun. Rid your mind of all the serious stuff. Just even if it's for only one night a week. Do things that you like to do. I mean, that's the easiest thing, the easiest way to have fun. Find a hobby. Fun comes in many different forms, many different ways. I mean, for me, this show, football, reading, and teaching, that's fun for me. I actually didn't like to read at one time, but for some reason, I get in, it happens sometimes, I get in this, like, reading mode, and I read about three, four, five books in, like, a month, and not even a month, but, like, a three-week span, like, I had to take two days away from reading that biography that I was reading because I was almost done, there's 424 pages in it, I just started reading it the other day, because I just started reading, 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 reading. But that's besides the point. For you, it could be anything. It could be like music, shopping, reading, eating, cooking, hanging out with your friends. I like to hang out with my friends too, but I have more fun by myself. Nobody can get on my nerves when I'm by myself. Um, except for me. You might like to do movies. You might like to act. You might like to sing. You might like to dance. You might like to watch TV. You might like to write. Write a book. That could be fun for you. That actually, writing a book could be the most fun for you because you know you could write. Have fun while you're writing. Go back to your serious stuff during the week. And then come back to writing. It's always going to be there for you. Fun is always going to be here. And we just got to take advantage of it. Because the serious stuff is always going to be here too. But I'd rather have... You know what? You got to do the serious stuff first. I'm not saying don't do serious stuff. You got to do that first. But then you also got to have fun. Keep it balanced. You know? How many times I've said something about being balanced on this show? 
47 episodes. I bet you it was over 100 times. We're going to go back and count. All right. No, whatever you like to do, I don't care what it is. Make sure you do it. Life is better when you have fun. And that's all I have to say to everybody today. That's our show for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. We got three more to go until 50. And then we'll be going to go on this break. See you later, everybody.